Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through how to change your investment allocations in your Fidelity 401k. First of all, everyone's 401k plans are going to be different. So this is going to vary between people and their company and what their company has to offer in terms of 401k plans. My 401k is through Fidelity, so that's what I'll be walking you through in this video. Most 401ks at your company are going to automatically invest you in what's called a target date fund. Target date funds are essentially a fund of funds. It's actively managed to select a group of mutual funds that is deemed appropriate for your retirement age. Target date funds definitely have some advantages, especially if you want a really hands-off approach in terms of your 401k allocations. If you're automatically sending investments into your target date fund from your employer's paycheck, it's going to automatically invest in an asset mix that is deemed appropriate for you. Target date funds are designed to be more conservative the closer you get to the day that you're expected to retire. For example, a target date fund with the year 2060 will be a lot more aggressive than a target date fund with the retirement year of 2050. If you do have a target date fund for the year 2060, as time goes on, it's going to automatically invest in more bonds and create a more conservative profile for you automatically. One criticism of target date funds is that even the most aggressive target date funds still have some bond allocation within them. This isn't necessarily favorable towards the younger crowd because they might just want to be seeing growth. They don't want that bond allocation that's just going to conserve their wealth for a short period of time. Another criticism of target date funds is they tend to have a lot higher fees than simple index funds. As we know, these investment fees can really add up because they just compound upon each other. You're essentially buying an actively managed fund of other actively managed funds, so these fees are really going to add up. But at the end of the day, the target date fund is still a really great option for retirement and should seriously be considered for those who want a hands-off approach. I personally wanted to invest my money in a low-cost index fund that's tracking the stock market. So for this, I'm really going to need to sit down and take a look at the investments in Fidelity that are offered through my 401k plan and pick the one that's best for me. So let's jump into how I did this in Fidelity. I'm going to start by going to fidelity.com and logging in with my username and password. If you don't know your username and password, you should contact your HR department. The landing page should bring me to a summary of my company's 401k plan. From here, I'll go to quick links and scroll down to change investments. You have three options when changing your investments. The first option is to change your investment elections. So this is going to be the money that's coming in from your paycheck each month into your 401k plan you can decide where you want that money to go. The other option is to change your current investments, which involve just exchanging one investment or exchanging multiple investments. I want to change my future investments, so I'll select Change Investment Elections. The landing page will bring you to your current investment elections. If you haven't touched your 401k yet, this will probably show up as a target date fund. For me, I currently have an allocation 90% in stocks and 10% in bonds in two simple index funds. If you do want to select a target date fund, you can select that option here. Like I said, target date funds are going to be a more hands-off approach and are going to be more conservative over time as you approach your retirement date. I want to manage my own investments, so I'm going to view the list of funds that my company has available within its 401k plan. This is where you'll really need to do your own research because everyone's 401k plans are going to be different and everyone is going to have different financial goals. You'll see here I have 24 investment options for my company. Here I have listed all of the stock investments, whether that be large cap stocks, mid cap, small cap, and international. 
Here are all the target date funds that are available to me. And some bond investments. Do your own research, decide what funds are best for you and determine your allocation. Once you've done your research on these funds, hit select funds. This next page is going to ask you from what source you want to change your investments. So this is just going to be selecting your employer contribution and your individual contribution. This page is actually where you'll be changing your investment elections. So if I wanted to, I could be putting 100% of my money into a target date fund, like the ones listed here. Or you can see I can choose an individual stock investment or bond investments and create some sort of allocation that fits my needs. Currently, you'll see I have 90% in stocks and 10% in bonds, but I've decided that I want to put 100% of my money into stocks because I really want to see that growth. So here I'm changing my allocation to 100% into this index fund for stocks. And obviously your total must equal 100 because it's going to take the money that you're contributing every month along with your employer match and dividing that up percentage wise into these funds. Let's update and continue. Here you can see my desired percentage has changed, so I'll hit next. Let's review and submit these investment election changes. And that's the entire process. The money that is coming in from my paycheck each month and from my employer contribution is going to go straight into these investments that I have individually chosen. So how much do you actually want to contribute into your 401k each month? For starters, in 2020, the absolute most that you contribute to your 401k is going to be $19,500. That limit increases to $26,000 if you are 50 and over. This limit does not include employer contributions, so those will be added to the number after the fact. These limits are set by the IRS and are subject to adjustment every year. One thing I will say is to please at least contribute up to your company match if you have one. This money is going to get a 100% return on investment. If you're not contributing up to your company match, you're essentially just throwing money out the window. I know it may be difficult for those of you, especially starting out, to be putting away money for retirement but you're going to thank yourself later for this. Thank you all so much for watching. If you found this content useful, please consider liking and subscribing. Until the next time, happy investing. Bye.